How could you leave me out there like that? You're joking. I can, what? You're, you know what you are? Let me fill your role in, in the kitchen. You're a manager, all right? That means I'm the wrestler, Mr. Psycho's a wrestler. And your wrestling ability hasn't been that good because see how's Katie doing that on top of you the last two weeks? Wait, holy crap, I just had a brainstorm. I just put it together. You, like Katie Doobie, pinning you every week, which makes everything so clear now that you like fish. If you ever slap me again, it will be the last thing that you do, Frost. You don't want to get on my... Get your hands off her! Why, huh? What the hell are you, huh? Stop it! Can't count apocalypse, so there's one gone, so that's four. And uh titles are locked two weeks before, so that's two. So we got two weeks. Two weeks we can beat asylum. That's plenty of time. Oh uh, hello. Uh, we're not exactly on Moody's good side, so I don't know what kind of team title match you think we're gonna get tonight. Cause I don't see it happening, man. I don't see it. Well, let's see. All we have to do is win some big high profile match to gain some political stroke around here. You know, whoever it may be, some Team, whatever. Yeah. And then she'll she'll have to give us the team titles. You know, we'll be deserving of it again. She'll give us the team titles, beat Asylum again, okay. and then, you know, go on, APOC, defend the team titles, the chain, you know, whatever, it doesn't matter. Uh well, Asylum probably wanna be in that match too, but you know, we can handle two teams in a table match, no problem, man, no problem. So uh yeah, sounds like a good plan, what do you say? Uh, well, well who's the speak who who, who are we fighting? Who are we fighting? You have an idea? Anybody has an idea? Shut up. How about a three-on-three three tag team match with total hands? Three-on-three, okay, three-on-three. Three. So we challenge TK next week, three-on-three. Three. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. And Moody will have to give us a match. We could. Okay, what can we do? Isn't, uh, he's fighting Moose tonight. Who? Right. Yes. Kevin? Kevin, yeah, he's fighting Moose tonight. Uh, that sucks. You could ask. I mean, what, well, we... No, no, no. You're gonna say it. We can't. We can't interfere in that match, right? We can't do anything in that match. We are not allowed at ringside. No, no. Come on. That would have been a ringside last week. Come on. Come on. I, I, I got an idea. Come on. Trust me. All right. All right. You alright? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Welcome back to Aftermath, ladies and gentlemen. It is now time for tag team action, pitting a team that already has a match scheduled for next week. The drunken wrestling idiots, Shatso Bannigan and Troy. Here you see Effo's former manager and current girlfriend, Ivana, sitting in the front row this week here at Aftermath. Awaiting the arrival of her boyfriend and his tag team partner here tonight, Sin, who will meet next week here on Aftermath in the Apocalypse Tournament. Two friends being forced to fight in the tournament for a chance to move on to the finals. Well, the semifinals first, and then it been get by the semifinals to the finals for the chance to be the number one contender to the WAW Championship at Hellbound in October. Troy and Shatso Banigan finally coming up with a name that makes uh, some sense and doesn't suck. I mean, let's be, uh, let's be honest here, dude's night out. Who didn't go on the internet and try and see if that was a gay porn title? Because I know it has to be somewhere in the pornography industry. I know there is an all-male porn called Dude's Night Out. There has got to be. I mean, there is Lord of the... 
the something rings. In any event, Fo and Sin making their way out towards the ring here tonight on Aftermath, trying to get the fans right behind them. These fans split right down the middle here tonight between DWI and Fo and Sin. Last week, these two, uh, these four men actually all had singles matches. Troy had an amazing upset victory over the WAW Hall of Famer, former four-time WAW champion, Sin. And Epo, a former two-time champion, US champion, WAW team champion, for the first time in his WAW career, was actually able to get a victory over the man who will start this contest, Shatso Banigan. And now we've got Sin and Shatz, who met in a qualifying round match a few weeks ago, starting off this contest. There was a little bit of an issue coming out of that contest. People felt that Sid was a little rough with Chateau Banigan. That all seems to be behind them. We had a little bit of fun last week, and it looks like we're going to have some more fun in a nice friendly tag team contest here between the former Team FO team members here tonight on Aftermath. We've got Sid in a reverse chin lock on Chateau Banigan, refusing to give it up, backing Shats up with three elbows, now backing him off the rope, sending him off the opposite side, and drops him down with a close lock. Shots now brought over to the corner where Sin makes a tag to Epo. Epo coming in and grabbing the arm, going right for the arm ringer on Chateau Banigan. Now dropping that arm three times over the back and now takes it right back into the arm ringer. Shats trying to take a swing and Epo cinches up on the pressure right as he's about to and again as Chateau Banigan trying to take a swing to no avail as Epo would cinch up on the pressure. Shats finally taking that swing and gets nothing, but we get a Cyclone DDT by Epo on to Shats O'Banigan. We got a cover, we got a count, we only get two as Shats O'Banigan gets a shoulder up. Charging over at Epo and Epo takes him right over with a headlock takeover. Referee doing his job there, counting the pin yeah, as Shat's baby. shoulders were down on the mat. Epo now going over to Shat to get another pin as Shat's shoulders are down. It's just a side headlock, but Shat's O'Banigan's shoulders were down on the mat. Referee doing his job there. And it's not too often that you can praise these mass referees. They're a bunch of idiots. I mean, just because they're afraid of getting beat up by some wrestlers, if they make a bad call, they wear these masks that make them make even worse calls. I never understood it, as we just saw a shattering impact there by Shatso Banigan onto Effa. Effo now being held by Shatso Banigan for Troy. Here comes Troy with an elbow right to the top of the head, and Effo falls down. Troy now off the ropes and he lot leaps through the air with a leg drop. Got the words mesh, mesh together there. Troy now picking up up to his feet. What are we gonna see with him here? Takes him off the rope, sends him off the opposite side with an Irish rip in, spinning back elbow, takes FO down. Hammering away at Epo in the corner. Sending him off the opposite side. Oh, shot right to the corner. And then a bulldog out of the corner. What an impressive move there by Troy. We get a cover. We get a count. We only get two. Troy just dropped Epo with a punch right to the face. Dropping him down hard. Taking a swing at him, Epo falls once more. Looking for the swing again. Epo's got him. What are we gonna see here at Alabama Slam? Maybe no, Zipper! Yes it is, Zipper! We get a cover, we get a count, and... Oh. I don't know what happened there. I didn't really see Troy make any movements, but uh, referee said it was a two count, so it's a two count. Epo makes a tag to Sin. Troy makes a tag to Shatz. Shatz takes a swing. Sin ducks. German suplex on to Shatz O'Banigan. 
And now up in the corner, flying forearm, drop right across the head of Shatz O'Bannigan. We get a count of two, and we only get two as Shatz kicks out. Shin staying right on top of the offense, taking Shatz O'Bannigan into the corner, hammering away with those machine gun-like punches in the corner. And Shatz O'Bannigan drops down. He's crawling with a running knee into the corner. And second he stops. And he's calling for the Bismarck instead of the running knee. We'll be about to see the Bismarck. Here we go, Bismarck, FO taking the ride. I, don't know, I think I saw a grin on Shatz's face there. You liked it a little bit, come on. And FO even saying it, come on man, you liked it a little bit, I know you did. Shatz O'Bannigan now being taken off the ropes when he hooks the ropes and Troy makes a tag to Shatz O'Bannigan. So now we're going to see Epo and Troy do battle here. What are we going to see here? Takes him off the rope, sends him off the opposite side. Leap frogs over Epo. And we got a shoulder block. Nobody goes nowhere. Workman now going off again. And again, nothing. Epo going off the ropes. And again, but he drops Troy. Lock up in the center of the ring here. Epo and Troy locking up now. Who's going to get the advantage? Troy does. Boot to the stomach. Wait a second. Could it be the Alabama slam? Going to spin around. Sid makes a tag. Epo is now not legal. Big boot right to the face. Taking down Troy. Epo going for the pin. He's not legal, but Sid takes it over. They got one, two, and Troy kicks out. Sid now back on his feet. Kick at Troy in the stomach. What are we going to see here? Could it be time for a sinner? He's got him up in the air. Epo makes a legal tag to Sin. Tag him in the elbows. We get a sinner from Sin. And it could be time for the Epo splash. Epo splash down across Troy. We get a cover. We get a count. We get three. As Sin and Epo pick up a victory over there. Team FO teammates, their former teammates from that Annihilation team, the team now known as the Drunken Wrestling Idiots, DWI, Shatzo, Bannigan, and Troy. And now, Sin and FO move next week to next week's aftermath in the quarterfinals of the Apocalypse Tournament in which Sin and FO will have to do battle. They will have to go head to head to see who advances into the semifinals of the tournament. And the winner of that match next week will take on the winner of tonight's Major Morpheus Red Team Kevin Chaos match. But I think Sid has something to say. For those of you who are unaware, next week, right here on Aftermath, unfortunately, Epo and I have to go head to head in the Apocalypse Tournament. Good match, though. Whoever wins is one step closer to a WAW Championship opportunity in FO. May the best man win. Hell yeah. yeah. Epo and Sin, the two friends, shaking on next week's Apocalypse Tournament match, saying may the best man win. And it will definitely be a battle of two of the all-time greats in WAW's history. Sin, a WAW Hall of Famer, and a former four-time WAW champion. Epo is Mr. Legacy, Mr. WAW, a former two-time WAW champion, a former two-time, now at the Bucks, United States champion, and a one-time WAW champion. WAW team champion. He's held all the gold. He's a, a two-time winning Annihilation team captain. Sin is a two-time winning Annihilation team captain. The accolades between these two men are very high, and next week they will battle for the chance to move on in the Apocalypse Tournament as we see DWI celebrating with Sin and Epo. But right now, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to take you to some previously recorded comments 
from Major Morpheus Morrissey and Kevin Chaos as they prepare for their upcoming quarterfinal Apocalypse Tournament match that is coming up next here on Aftermath. It is the main event of this week's Aftermath, Major Morpheus Morrissey and Kevin Chaos.